Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing some things with Super Glitch. We're gonna get started right here. So the main objective today is to kind of explain how um, save states and resetting work in this game. Um, so you can see here I basically have glitch effects now. And another thing you can do is you can like try and switch moves. I didn't mean to try and switch it with Super Glitch. Wow. Huh, that's cool. You can see my new moves after I got glitch effects. I did not know that. I never tried switching it with Super Glitch. That made me just leave. And that actually kind of ruined um, what I wanted to do. It gave me an interesting effect here. I'll show some effects off. Because you'll see, I just stopped in place. I can't move. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, that happens occasionally when you um, leave battle that way. But as you might have seen, some of the uh, trainer sprites, or just NPCs I should say, um, have like, you know, their glitch box and they're all messed up. This guy looks extra special here. Um, if I go in a building, that will reset. As you can see, I'll go back out, it's all gone. But um, that wasn't actually the goal of that, so we're gonna reload here, and um, hopefully I can get what I wanted. I didn't mean to switch um, the move, but that is something you can do if sometimes you don't get glitch effects right away. Um, but what you'll notice, what I'm trying to show off here, is that some of the effects are pretty much like the same. Like, I should have the same glitch Pokemon, although you won't really tell from the... Uh, the rough start I had because I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, reset again. I'm basically trying to get the point of that if you use save states, your um, your memory is kind of the same. Like you can see this is kind of the same thing but instead of uh, Pidgeotto it's Rattata. And I think if I switch it will, yeah, it will do this again. And you can kind of see like things are bleeding in right there. If I leave that, you can kind of see it kind of has the same effect. This time it didn't kind of screw over my uh, overworld though because I guess if you try to use, like, if you try to attack while you're like that, it will um, give you that weird, like, exit from the battle, and then you'll come in the overworld with everything corrupted. But another thing I wanted to show here is the Pokemon that I have in my party. This will help exercise the fact that things are changing when I soft reset, but they will actually be the same if I don't. Um, so if you see here, if I deposit, we'll have kind of the same thing here. We got to Kadabra. What's interesting, if I just keep depositing stuff, um, it kind of just keeps copying itself, but also reducing character for some reason. Wow, all the same cries. Bra. <laughs> R A. A. No name. <laughs> Usually stuff with no name screw you over, but not really. Uh, what's interesting, it seems like you can deposit as much as you want in your first six slots, but then once you get past six, you start getting into stuff that doesn't really exist, per se. It does, I think it's technically here, because like, this, for example, this is kind of a tangent, but if I click on this, I can actually view its stats. Well, sometimes I can. Not always. Oh, there we go. So you can get some really cool stuff. Missing no. Um, and I can even, like, actually leave safely, but if I try to deposit it, I will probably crash, like, 100%. Let's try it. Let's view the stats first, because... Oh, team trainer effect. Interesting. <laughs> Four licks. Whoa. The screen is all messed up, but let's just um, deposit it. So I deposit it, but then the game crashes, which is good because I'm going to reset. Hopefully my game day doesn't get erased. Let's see here. Oh, ha, bye! It's gone! <laughs> so that's exactly why you uh, use save states, and you got to be really careful. That kind of ruined my plan, though, what I wanted to show. So I'm going to just get like some effects and show you that it's basically the same as last time. But if I um, with a save state... And since I saved, I think it should be restored now, since I didn't do anything too crazy. It should be back. Yeah, save states are awesome. So I come back, and let's say I encounter stuff. So it's a Pidgeotto. It would normally say like, oh, Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto, but this is a little bit different, you can see. I can even try and switch things around, and it's a little bit different. I tried to go over that 34, and it crashed, so that's why. Or a super glitch. So if I keep going here, and just keep resetting, you'll actually see the effects are different. And it just keeps changing. So like yeah, that's a little bit different than last time. We're still now we got blue MN for you. So let's just leave and see what happens. Because eventually, in my experience, there was a glitch I was trying to do. Um, that's really complicated apparently with super glitch. And apparently, I just can't do it. I can't get it to work. And I've been trying to like figure out how to get certain forms of super glitch or certain corruptions of super glitch that allow it to work but it hasn't been going very well so i discovered that if you use save states you can kind of like keep the same effect over and over again uh the next video i'm going to show or one of the future videos d butt <laughs> what is this 
<laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> so you can see here, I should be able to deposit all this stuff, no problem. Let's see what Debut does. This is another reason why- I, oh, now I'm moving really slow. That's another reason why I want to show this video off, to get some really cool super glitch effects. Um, I haven't really been doing that very much. Let's see if we get anything interesting here. Oh well. Debut. Kung Fu. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna sleep, even though I'm poisoned. Alright. So this is a good time to talk about what I was saying. So I believe the way it works is that it's running off the game's RAM, Super Glitch does. And so when you use a save state, it saves the game's memory in the RAM in that particular point. And when you like reset with a save state, it basically restores to that point in the game. However, if you use a soft reset, like resetting your game, the RAM kind of keeps going, or the memory, it doesn't reset or like restore to that point is roughly how I look at it. So then Super Glitch runs off the RAM, it's affected by it. I think Missy knows too, that's what I was talking about. I'm gonna show a little bit more about that in a future video pretty soon. I believe that Missy No also works on that too. That's why the encounters are different. But Super Glitch is kind of the same deal. And I believe, oh wow, I've never had, I've never had an off code like that before. Huh. Um, well, I will reset to a different save state and I'll see you guys there in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I actually forgot to mention, this is a different um, file. Um, I have a different one here. It was to look at some glitches, and um, <laughs> basically you can only do it in the early game. I'll explain more of that later, but um, yeah, it basically is a different file. You wouldn't have known as I showed you. I think you might have seen it though if I um, tried to load it, I believe so. Anyway, that's not important. So now I'm gonna load my original file that we've been seeing. Uh, here we go, and make sure it's the right one. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you can see I have um, Q in here. I didn't set this up ahead of time like I should have, but um, I'm gonna show basically it's a different part of the game. You can see here, this is the file that I've been using, and that I should be getting different effects. And I'm also going to kind of exercise the uh, save state thing again. So you'll see here, um, so this one in particular, I just don't, like nothing even shows up really for Super Glitch, but if I try and change the move, which is something I was trying to show earlier, um, it does kind of get some effects going. Which is really cool because you can actually use that to your advantage. Because sometimes Super Glitch won't activate when you open the fight menu. And since we're here, actually, I'm gonna reload. Um, about hit the wrong save state. So anyway, so if I go back in here, this is a proof of concept. Hopefully, I can find a Pokemon. You'll see that like I forgot to switch in. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, um, so you'll see the effect is like identical to like what it was. And there's not really much else to say there, really. Um, so it should be consistent, although I say that and my name is completely different. Um, that could have something to do with trading in Q, like, he wasn't leading, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not entirely positive. Um, there's still so much I have to learn about this. There's a resource I can use to help me with that, but I'm actually gonna, um, reset here to further prove that, um, why did that happen? I thought I saved. Oh, I saved, then saved a state. Whoops, my bad. Sorry about that. Um... A little bit of a fail. Um, I'm just gonna reload the state. Sorry, that was actually a mess up there. Um, so here's a little lesson I'll teach you. This is a little bonus feature. So basically, if I save here, and then save my state, which I thought I did already, and then if I reset, I should reset back there. Well, of course I will, because I just saved. But like the point is, if I load this state and then reset, I should go back to that spot. But for some reason, if you do it in the wrong combination, you'll if you save and then save a state, it'll still restore to- um, I'm sorry, if you save a state then save, it'll restore to the older save in the game. I know that could have been kind of confusing, but- Oh, so yeah, here, here's another effect we have here. Um, yeah, this is so much to talk about with Super Glitch, it's nuts. So if I just keep resetting, basically, that's what I'm trying to get to here, is that, like, I'll just keep getting different effects, but if I use a save state, it will not. Like, I'll keep- getting the same effect over and over again first try. Oh, I like this when you get in here. If you get lucky, you might get a escape rope if you can get out. Um, I did not, apparently. So, so much for that. Um, I'm gonna reset one more time, uh, because this time I want to try and use a PP up. Because another thing I wanted to briefly mention in here is that Super Glitch can actually stack. If you have, like, multiple Super Glitch moves on top of each other... I don't even know if that gave me glitch effects. No, it didn't. If you have, like, so you can have one, two, three, four, um, basically those stack and increase the amount of corruption you get of the game's memory, or the RAM. And basically you can use that to your advantage to get, like, crazy effects. Speaking of which, we got some right here. Can I please wing attack? Interesting. 
So yeah, as you can see, things got really corrupted there. Like, my name's like part of the freaking cave. <laughs> Let's go see what's in the PC really quick. Sorry about the rather rough cut there. I had an interruption in the recording and I had to, I had to cut it back. So I'm here again. And as I was saying, you can kind of use the PP up to get a nice little boost in corruption. Uh, apparently, wild encounters kind of limit the amount of corruption you can get. Oh, here we go. This is kind of like the effect we got, um, I believe, just in the last little bit. That makes me happy because I was a little annoyed about that. I had to cut it. Um, I'm hoping I can get through this. It looks like it's the same. Roughly, yeah, wing attack. Okay, so let's go to the PC like we originally intended. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much the same effect. So as you can see there, and it even further reinforces what I was saying, I just loaded back to the save state and went there and used a PP up. Uh, it was slightly different though. I thought it was closer to the cave entrance than that, but it doesn't really matter. Wow, that's quite the name I got there. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty, um... So yeah, pretty much everything's kind of normal there, but if you start depositing stuff, things get more corrupted, as you can see. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so... It's kind of funny that like, the last Pokémon seems to like get copied over and over again. What's even funnier is you can actually like withdraw the Pokémon or even just flat out like release them and just keep depositing. I wonder if you can eventually run out of Pokémon. Anyway, to back to what I was saying about the uh, PP up, you can basically use that to get like a little boost in corruption that more so than uh, just a simple wild encounter of opening the fight menu. But what's nice is that if you have four glitch moves, you can actually quadruple that even further. Basically each one stacks. So that's something we can do maybe later at some point. But um, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens when I do this. Oh hey, now I'm moving at normal speed. That's so cool how that works. I doubt this is gonna work though. I got something interesting to work off screen. Um, basically if I healed after depositing a crap ton of Pokemon, eh, I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll see. It actually stopped this countdown early on. I don't think it will. No, it's gonna go all the way through. Let's see what happens though. But yeah, it stopped early on and just like, it was normal. It was fine. It let me walk away and everything. It, usually it says this and then it crashes or gives you an unknown op code. So we're gonna end it there with um, this type of like um, exercise of super glitch, if you will. Um, the biggest thing to take away there was just that if you load a save state, you'll get the same effects on repeat with super glitch if you activate it basically shortly afterwards, but if you reset, like soft reset, you will um, continue to get different effects. I don't know if it's like a the way the memory works in the game. That's something that I'll go over later in a later video. Alrighty, as I was saying, the main event of the video is to take Super Glitch to the Hall of Fame. So we're gonna beat our rival here, Blue. I'm gonna speed through the dialogue. But since you guys haven't seen me face the champion yet, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna just play it out normally. I will put a timestamp into where the glitching actually starts. But for now we're just going to be our rival. <laughs> Although it's pretty easy, maybe I shouldn't make such a big deal about it since, you know, I outlevel his starter Pokemon. <laughs> his starting Pokemon by 29 levels. His starter's, um, Eevee, by the way, in this game, if you didn't know. I like to say I'm interesting. I don't remember, I think since... His team, his team changes based on like what ev evolution he has, and since I never fought him on, oh gosh, I don't even remember if it's Route 25, whatever route is next to Viridian City, where you can fight him at the beginning of the game. I never did that, and if you don't do that, it defaults to Flareon, and if you lose to him, it becomes Vaporeon, which makes sense since that gives you an advantage with Pikachu, and if you actually face him and beat him, he'll have a Jolteon. So since I did not do, since I did not battle him, basically I got Flareon. See if Surf can take it out. Nice. I'm gonna speed up through it. We'll leave this for another time. Um, right now I'm more worried about <laughs> showing you what happens when we bring Super Glitch to the Hall of Fame. Hopefully it works. Cause that's the biggest thing. Sometimes it won't work, or like <laughs> it, you gotta be um, kind of lucky if you don't have a high level Q. But I don't want to deal with that right now, so I actually got to level 62, which is pretty cool. I did not know Q learned Ice Beam at 62. Um, so there's nothing there. Oh, there we go. That should hopefully do it. There's a few opportunities for it to trigger since I'll be fighting it, actually. Although there was one time... <laughs> oh, that works. There was one time I critted it with um, with uh, confusion and actually took it out. <laughs> it's was kind of surprising, but that worked. Izzard? Blizzard? <laughs> That's cool. These effects are a little bit different than when I had off screen. I did do a test run of this, but it should be okay. 
Wow, that's a lot of experience from that. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder if it's because, like, oh, it, it was, like, bubble, what, 65 or 66? I don't remember which one it was. And so maybe it changed to Pokemon, and that's why. Because sometimes you'll get, like, a lot more experience than you should, and sometimes you'll get a lot less. So I don't know why this time it's, like, a hell of a lot more. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. It's a... It's a yeah, it's a Flareon. Whoa, holy shit, Blue. What the hell happened to you? <laughs> Gosh, what happened to the guy? Oh, our name is like him. It's like glitch block. Like it's literally like a, I guess you can call it a box or a block. Like it literally looks like it's just one giant square. You'll see it here because Professor Oak says our name like eight times through this little dialogue. We're gonna skip through it, but you can kind of see it's like just one big block of glitch characters. <laughs> it's like a little water sprite in there. I love seeing that. It's cool. There's actually a Pokemon Red and Blue that has like a water tile in its name. It's really cool. Yeah, you can see it down there, <laughs> dancing around. It'll be fun to show off Red and Blue at some point. I am definitely going to do a series on that now. It's been decided. Alright, let's speed through this. Because I'm really eager to see this. We had no evolutions, though, I don't think. Which is surprising. Usually you have like, a crap ton of evolutions. So I don't remember any evolutions. See, <laughs> so, yeah, at this point in the game, I always get Kefari show up. It's weird, at level 6. Yeah, the first few Pokemon are, like, consistently the same. It's really weird. But, like, that's another point to show that, like, it was different in the, uh, second stage state. Or, like, the new file. MR. Magmar. But weird. That's funny. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, yeah, the old file had something different. Fears. <laughs> some weird names. <laughs> that's a good name for Fero Fears. <laughs> that's a cool-looking Ghastly. <laughs> huh. Anyway. So, you know, in there I had different effects. Typically at that point I had a lot of Missy Nose, um, but in this one, not yet. It'll show up later. A lot of Parasects are in this one too, to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, it's just like a non-stop flow of Pokemon. As you can see, like when we went into the, the box, the PC, we, we saw a lot of these. Um, a lot of them were just called Nines though. And they had these cries too, you can hear it. It has the same cry. <laughs> oh, there's Izzard. <laughs> That'd be a funny Pokemon name. Izzard. <laughs> Level 14. It'd be funny to get D button here. Wow, Rocket Blue Izzard. <laughs> 255. <laughs> Nine. Alright. No name. Type 2 part of the claw on Pinsir. Pinsir? What the hell am I saying? That's Parasect. I don't even know why I was thinking of Pinsir. It's a cool name. 99 nine, was at VQX. Gary! <laughs> I think it was like VQX Blue or something. I'll look back at that. Hey! It's one of me, apparently. Red or whatever. <laughs> Level 87. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, apparently the move likes to be like replaced, as you can see there. FFE Izzard. <laughs> Level zero. Cool. Hall of Fame. I might do another one of these at some point. Like maybe in the old file, we can see if we can get some different effects. And I might show that off in a different video. This is pretty fun, honestly. 9V. 9 volt battery. <laughs> oh, I guess we're done can't go any farther. Like, I'm pressing the button, but it won't let me go. It's unfortunate. Well, this is going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.